So welcome to our home. Yeah. Yeah. Away from home. Thank oh, you. Man. Okay, we're live. Okay, let's do Dam. Here we go. Okay, this is Dam. Ready? Yes, sir. So I want to talk about when you started doing music. I didn't think that I was going to do music because I grew up in Arizona. It's not really like an option. You're not like, oh, I'm going to. You it don't see it. You don't see it. Did you move to L.A. and then you started meeting people who were in music? Yeah, basically. I moved to L.A. and I was just modeling at the time. I was like 18 and I was just going to move to L.A. for a couple months. And I met a photographer who introduced me to a producer and he was like, can you sing? And I was like. <laughs> I guess, yeah, sure. And so then I started writing music and it just sort of, it snowballed and turned into this big thing. And it feels very cosmic or fateful in some ways that I ended up doing it. Saying I could actually write a song. It's like an insane idea. Like, oh, I'm just gonna yeah. write a song. How do you write it? How do you even do that? I didn't know how to write a song, but this producer sort of just sat me down at his kitchen table and like had a beat. And I just started writing. Okay, so I wrote a lot of this album about a relationship I was in a long relationship and I like unknowingly kind of wrote a breakup album before we broke up and now I listen to it and I'm like oh god um so this is one of those songs that I'm like oh god writing was on the wall I think you write music sometimes like in this like really honest place where you're like no it's just a song but it's like no it's like oh, shit. yeah you like there. listen to it afterwards and you're like oh no I guess I knew Thank you. 
We're talking in circles about the same little things And now I just think you don't understand me But I'm missing my head on your shoulder talking earlier about how like you don't always start with the words yeah I never do what happens how does that work a lot of this record I started with little loops or like something I would make on an op1 or you know chords with friends whatever and then I just do long takes over them and then I'll go through the takes and cut melodies that I like I spend a lot of time sort of brewing on what the song is about and I always keep notes in my phone of of song ideas and lyric ideas and it usually takes me months and like many drafts of writing lyrics over that, those melodies and that's how it comes together oh yeah this one is called you know i love you still but for a long time up until probably the like the week i had to turn it in it was called me myself and i but myself was spelled like m-i-c-e-l f because there was a mouse in the studio <laughs> all day <laughs> Maybe it was a rat, I don't know. <laughs> so everyone was in the studio like this, like afraid of the mouse. But anyway, so me, myself, and I, it's called You Know I Love You Still, but I still want to honor the mouse that helped yeah. write the song. to my knees Put on your 
Arizona is a beautiful place that I was so desperate to get out of. And now, you know what? I do love it. It's beautiful. And I think it's inspired a lot of, like, what I make. How? There's something that happens to me, like, when I go to the Southwest, specifically Arizona, on a cellular level, I'm like, I am from here. Like, I feel it. And I feel so at home. Isn't there, like, a lot of magnetic energy? They do say that. Like, in Sedona, it's like, oh, it's an energy vortex. I don't know. I feel at home there. I think it's beautiful and it's inspiring. And there's sort of a history that I've tapped into. Like my mom grew up in Tucson, and, like, her family was very into the, like, Western, like, cowboy kind of thing. And I just think that that's kind of funny. And it, I don't know. It's kind of a weird place. I, I just, I connect with it. Drawing inspiration? Where did that come from? I feel like my inspiration through the last few albums has always been sort of the same thing. It's like Sarah McLaughlin. It's like always that, Sheryl Crow, the like 90s, 2000s country. Country songwriting is the foundation of everything. Any I do believe I failed you.
Does it matter?